in an effort aimed at strengthening inclusive representation of all special interest groups in parliament, cabinet has approved elderly to have five parliamentary representatives to effectively represent their views across the country. According to the 2014 National Housing and Population Report, the population of older persons increased from 100, uh, from 1.430,000 to 1.6 million people. The, pop the population increase, therefore, has far-reaching implications on the demand for access to specialized social economic services for older persons. In spite of government's commitment in addressing the needs and concerns of older persons, there is still need to have a streamlined structures from the village level up to parliamentary level to enhance participation of older persons in decision making. It is therefore important to note that older persons in Uganda can contribute immensely for the creation of wealth, support and care for the families, creation of social cohesion, and conflict resolution in most of our communities. Government adopted the national policy for older persons in 2009, in, 20, in 2009, to provide a framework to guide policy and programming of the interventions to improve the quality of life of older persons. The policy was formulated within the framework of old persons specific to international instruments for promotion of human rights. This include the Madrid Plan of Action on Aging 2002, the Action Union Charter on the Rights of Older Persons, and the Sustainable Development Goals, among others. Article 32 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda provides that the state will take affirmative action in favor of groups marginalized on the basis of gender, age, disability, or any other reason, created by history, tradition, or custom, for the purpose of addressing imbalances which, which exist against them. In addition, the implementation of the policy was reinforced by the enactment of the National Council for the Older Persons Act 2013 for effective advocacy, coordination, monitoring, and evaluation of service delivery and representation of older persons. Notwithstanding, the representation stops at the district level, and there is no direct linkage between older person council district structure up to parliament. This, is there, this therefore will create, this therefore creates a gap in information flow because we've realized that they stop at the district level. There is no direct linkage with them to parliament. And there is a gap which automatically is created. And we believe by them being represented in, re, having representatives in parliament, they will be in position to have their voice aired out in parliament direct without passing through a third party. And at the moment, parliament has representation of four special interest groups. We talk about people with disability, the youth, the workers, and the army. The Equal Opportunities Act 2007 provides for equal rights of all vulnerable groups, including older persons, and therefore, the review of representative for older persons in parliament as a special interest group is aimed at protecting their rights and also making them have a voice. It will therefore be proper to have the elderly who in this bracket are 60 years of age and above have representation to provide a leveled platform for discussion of needs and concerns of older persons and also enhanced good governance through inclusive representation of all interest groups. So basically, cabinet yesterday resolved 
for older persons to have representation in parliament. We proposed four slots for the older persons, like in the case of the youths and also PWDs. We believe that this group will be stable and also reliable, but will bring in a wealth of knowledge. They will be sharing their experiences, their history with the youths and also other age groups. So we believe that uh, their service will be needed in parliament. And as we've heard, we've known that other structures provide for their slots. When you look at the village level, there is a slot for an elder, you go to the parish, you go to the sub-county, up to the district level. And from the district to parliament, there was a missing link because they are not represented in parliament. So by this proposal, we believe that the cycle will be complete. Their views will be properly articulated in parliament, and they will be in position to also collect views from other older persons from the communities and make those views or their voices heard. And this will improve even planning, policy advocacy, but also resource mobilization towards their needs. So we believe that this, this uh, resolution is timely. So the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs is expected to prepare a motion of a resolution to parliament that will be taken and debated by members of the parliament if it is agreeable to the MPs, then the motion will be adopted and they will have their five slots created for them to compete for politics. And we are looking at them using also the electoral colleges as a mode of identifying those who represent them in one way or another. They will not go for adult suffrage. They will use, we are proposing, electoral colleges. The, the normal demarcations like for the youths and PWDs. I think you look at the north, central, east, west. And those are the sl are slots we have. Maybe a female representative, something like that. It will be clearly brought out by the Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs. But we are looking at five slots, 60 years and above. That is the age bracket, 60 years and above. And they, and, and they will be identified by the electoral colleges. They will look at their capabilities, level of education, level of representation, and also articulation, to be in position to articulate their views on the floor of parliament, to be in position to sit on the respective committees of parliament, and also participate actively so that the voice of the older persons is heard at parliamentary level. Mwaji? Tawali age limit. Tawali age limit. Constitutionally afeya guli wawo. Tawali age limit. Of course, we are looking at the needs and the requirements. This is a special interest group that has been catered for up to the district level. You realize that there is a gap between the district and national level. So we believe that by them requesting, they have their uniqueness. They need government to give them a voice where they can ably articulate themselves and also represent others who may not be in position to have that voice in parliament. We believe that this is timely and we have also seen people requesting for constituencies depending on their geographical or historical character they, they, they request for constituencies. And after an assessment has been made by cabinet and parliament, a resolution will be made and those respective constituencies will be created. And this is up to parliament, basically. They will look at the merit of the motion before them, discuss it extensively, and at the end of the day, a resolution will be adopted. By, 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 by the full house. Abakade, Basebo Nebanyabo by Jaja, Tubagamba Chemaya Galizem, Baz Chibuyaga Sud. A dobozi yamui, the Muba de Molin Dida, Gamagana Moko took Eri Mute Sezo, Eria Uganda, Echera Chitose. Cabinet Yaisiza, 
okusaba kwa mwe kati ekidira kugena mu parliament mwogere ne batabani ba mwe ne bazukuru ba mwabali mu parliament okuwagira ekiteese ekyo mufuna ebifo bya mwe bitano chenyinzo kubasaba